Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concept of vectors as velocity. So as per the problem, Judy and her friend Helen live on opposite sides of a river that is one kilometer wide. Helen lives two kilometer downstream from Judy on the opposite side of the river. Judy can sp uh, swim at a rate of 3 km per hour and the river's current has a speed of 4 km per hour. Judy swims from her cottage directly across the river. In part A, we have to find Judy's resultant velocity. So the first step is to draw a diagram for this problem to understand what's given in the problem and what we need to find. So the first step is to draw the river. So this river is one kilometer wide. And let's assume the river is flowing from left to right. And its speed is 4 kilometers per hour. Uh, Judy and Helen live on opposite sides of the river, and Helen lives 2 kilometers downstream from Judy. So let's assume Judy lives at this point J. And Helen lives at this point H. And Helen is 2 km downstream from Judy. So this distance is 2 km. Now Judy swims from her cottage directly across the river and her speed is 3 km per hour. Now we have to find Judy's resultant velocity and Judy's resultant velocity will depend on the speed at which she tries to cross the river and the speed of the current. So we'll have to draw a vector triangle to find the resultant velocity of Judy. So we'll place the vectors for Judy's speed across the river and the river's speed in a tip to tail or head to tail format and draw the vector triangle. So this vector can represent Judy's swim rate Judy is trying to go directly across the river, so her direction is perpendicular to the direction of the river's flow. So the vector for the river's velocity is perpendicular to that of Judy's direction. So this can be the vector for the river's velocity and we arrange these two vectors in tip to tail or head to tail arrangement. And they are perpendicular to each other. So the resultant velocity will be represented by the hypotenuse in this right angle triangle. So this is the vector for Judy's resultant velocity. So we have to find this vector. We'll start by finding the magnitude of this resultant. And for that, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem equation because this is a right angle triangle.
so I got 5 kilometers per hour. So this is the magnitude of Judy's resultant velocity. Now we should find the direction for this resultant vector. We have to find this angle theta. And since it's a right angle triangle, we can use Sokatoa. We can use tan ratio. Now we can do the inverse of tan. which is equal to almost 53 degrees. So that means the resultant vector is, so we start with the magnitude, and the direction of the resultant velocity is, 53 degrees downstream towards the river bank. So this can be the final answer for part A. Now we can analyze part B. How far away from Helen's cottage will Judy be when she reaches the other side? So for this part, we have to draw a triangle for distances. So we know that the river is one kilometer wide and Judy's resultant velocity makes an angle of 53 degrees with this direction that goes across the river. So we have to first find how far downstream will Judy travel when she reaches the other side of the river. So we have to find the value of x. And for that, we can use Sokatoa because it's a right angle triangle. So we can use the tan ratio. The formula for tan is opposite over adjacent. So I got x equals 1.33 and the unit is kilometers. So Judy travels 1.33 kilometers downstream when she reaches the other side of the river. Now as per the problem, Helen lives 2 kilometers downstream from Judy. We can show Helen's cottage here diagram. That means Judy reaches the other side of the river before getting to Helen's cottage. And her distance from Helen's cottage can be found by subtracting 1.33 kilometers from 2 kilometers, which is equal to 0 0.67 kilometers. That means Judy is 0 0.67 kilometers from Helen's cottage when she reaches the other side. So this should be the final answer for part B. Now we can analyze part C. How long will it take Judy to reach the other side? So for this, we have to find the time. And we know the formula for time is distance over speed. Now Judy is 
trying to cross a river that's one kilometer wide. So that's the distance. And her speed in the direction across the river is three kilometers per hour. So this is the time in hours. And we can change this to minutes by multiplying one over three by 60. Because there are 60 minutes in one hour and this is equal to 20. And the unit is minutes. So that means it takes you the 20 minutes to reach the other side of the river. So this should be the final answer for part C. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to homework help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.